LeBron James' wife, Savannah James, is a constant fixture in her husband's life. As a matter of fact, she has been by his side since their teenage years when they attended rival Ohio schools. As LeBron continues to dominate as a professional basketball player, Savannah is one of the few people who has played an integral part in his success. She's more than just the wife of a likely future Hall of Fame athlete, though. She has her hands full as a mother of three, while still finding time to chase her own dreams. Savannah has branched out to try her hand at various business sectors, including a brief stint in the smoothie industry, according to Miami Herald, and a co-venture with a healthy sports drink for kids. She has traveled the world and has called many U.S. cities home to accommodate her husband's basketball career, but don't let her glitzy lifestyle fool you. Behind the multi-million dollar homes and Ferraris, they're an Ohio native who continues to remain humble and never hesitates to extend a helping hand through charitable efforts. Curious to know more about the King's Queen? Here's the untold truth of LeBron James' wife. Her love for charity began at home. Savannah James grew up as the youngest of five siblings in a childhood that she described as pretty normal in an interview with WKYC3. As a kid, she learned the importance of giving back to those in need from her parents, J.K. Brinson, an Akron paint and varnish engineered coatings retiree, and Jennifer Brinson, a nurse. According to Cleveland Magazine, Savannah's parents occasionally took in youngsters in unfortunate circumstances, some of whom were their older kids' friends. Savannah told the publication that her parents always opened up the doors for those in need. As an adult, Savannah lends a helping hand to her husband's charity, the LeBron James Family Foundation. She has done it all, including checking in participating students and their families at the organization's annual bike-a-thon, Cleveland Magazine reported. Because giving back is so important to her, it makes sense that she would marry someone who's equally altruistic and super, super passionate about his philanthropic endeavors. Giving back to her alma mater, LeBron James' wife makes it her mission to provide some fashionable assistance to students at her alma mater, Booktel High School, through her I Promise Makeover campaign. Launched in 2012 with the LeBron James Family Foundation, Savannah finds girls who are without the funds to buy their own prom dresses and gives them free ones to wear to the dances, as reported by Vogue. She also meets with students' guidance's counselors so she can learn about each girl's challenges, according to Cleveland Magazine. She was compelled to start the campaign based on her high school experience. While she was able to attend her own prom, with her now husband LeBron James, of course, not all of her classmates could afford to attend the expensive event. And then you have a friend who says, I can't go to prom for whatever reason, Savannah told Vogue. While speaking with WKYC3, she realized some of the girls attending her inner city alma mater wouldn't have the means to purchase a prom gown, and, because she knew the dance was a pivotal moment in their young lives, she stepped up to the plate. I think the impact of the I Promise makeover can just give them a boost that they can do whatever they want to do, she said. These are girls who walk the same hallways that I've walked. I love doing it here. She keeps her circle small, and they're a good reason why, there aren't too many people who know what it's like to be married to one of the greatest athletes in the world.
and for that reason alone, we can imagine that connecting with other people outside of the sports world is tricky for Savannah James. There the possibility that anyone she confides in might betray her and run to the tabloids behind her back. But for specific reasons she didnt disclose, James told WKYC3 that she only has a very small circle of friends. I think that, you know, you don't want to give too much of yourself to too many people, she said. So I keep my circle pretty small when it comes to asking for advice or help or anything like that. The few people she trusts include her mom, her sisters, and three really good friends who know her inside and out. Though she's cordial with some celebrities, they're probably not her trusted confidants, including, presumably, Beyoncé. And for good reason. The ex-boyfriend of James' mother-in-law, a rapper who goes by the name Lambo, accused Beyoncé of being LeBron's sidepiece and that's why Bay and Jay skipped out on his nuptials with Savannah Brinson James, and vice versa, rolling out reported. No wonder Savannah keeps a tight circle. Less friends, less problems, and hopefully less gossip. She was treated unfairly, but it won't stop her hustle. LeBron James decided to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2010 after seven years and moved on to South Beach to play for the Miami Heat. Cavs fans not only felt stiffed, but sports enthusiasts from the various teams that were courting LeBron with lucrative contracts were ticked off, too. Fans took to the streets to burn LeBron's Cavs jersey, and LeBron and Savannah were even booed in New York City when they attended fellow basketball player Carmelo Anthony's wedding, Harper's Bazaar reported. Savannah called the treatment from fans unfair, and added, but they did it. It's over. Still, she and her husband proved they have nothing but love for the Buckeye State when they opened LeBron's I Promise School for at-risk kids in Akron, Ohio. Students who graduate from the school will have their full tuition paid at the University of Akron, according to money. LeBron would return to the Cavs in 2014, as reported by USA Today, and he helped him snag a championship in 2016. But his stay was brief, as he left the Cavs again in 2018, in favor of signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. When he suited up in his purple and gold jersey and returned to play against his old Cavs teammates for the first time in November 2018, there were no jeers. This time, he and Savannah were welcomed with a touching video tribute and a standing ovation instead. Thank goodness. 